everyone, let me go here. And um, so this is the dimension end, transcendence tier 8. I made a mistake in my uh, full video, it's not 7, it's actually 8. And um, so yeah, let's begin. I fast forwarded, or uh, rather I sped up the first two fights left and right here because uh, honestly they are pretty easy. Uh, you don't even have to bring any burst characters. Burst characters, I'm pretty sure you'll be able to uh, play that as well. But um, for for this particular fight, I brought uh, Zack, Benil, and a uh, Laguna. Laguna is there for to, to you know to fulfill the requirement for a blue crystal. Uh, if not, you can just bring anyone. It doesn't really matter because I initially thought that his LD was uh, able to put a gold frame debuff. Uh, turns out it's not. <laughs> it's just a silver frame as per usual. Uh, I'm pretty sure the gold frame come from his uh, his burst. Uh, Zack is here to tank out because I saw that the last boss has a potential of being very annoying. Uh, so I, I, I brought him. Uh, but honestly, a little bit of a spoiler, but yeah, you know, since I, uh, I have really completed it, completed it, I might as well just give you some advice. Uh, you don't really have to bring Zack, you can just bring any other tank. Uh, you might not want to bring uh, Layla because um, of how the last boss works. Uh, someone like Bash can work, you know, to, to really focus all the fire on, on just himself, right? Um, but if you if you bring someone like Bash, then you can consider bring someone, uh, you know, bring a stronger burst character. Because um, I believe the last fight, most of my damage really came from uh, Zack, and uh, not so much from my uh, other two characters. So for this fight, it's actually pretty straightforward. These bosses are not the same as the... Um, the one that we fought for Beatrix, they're actually quite toned down, or rather, I feel like they have, they have been toned down because um, they are not really the boss by themselves. I actually initially wanted to bring uh, Beatrix, uh, opted for Vanille instead, because um, I honestly did not know where to put Vanille anymore. <laughs> she was one of the few that got C90 really early, so yeah, she, she, she's probably dropping off soon, so I decided to just throw her in here. Not that I really need another character, I'm pretty sure just Zack and Laguna is able to finish it. In fact, maybe Zack alone is able to finish it. But yeah, uh, so... Uh, just to fulfill the, the, the requirement, which is why there's a Laguna in Zack. If not, uh, I will not as well. You know, I'll just bring someone else, some other blue character. Maybe uh, Cyan, right? But yeah, uh, once this BT phase ends, the boss is almost dead. You know? So it doesn't really matter um, who you bring. Uh, as long as you plan for the last fight, because the last fight is the, the true fight. These level 200s are, are nothing really good. So, uh, let's talk about the orb. The orb is uh, little. Okay. Uh, it says it ignores effects that prevents HP dropping below 1. Uh, I don't think that... Um, I'm pretty sure it doesn't go through uh, Zack's first effect. Because normally for that to happen, it should be go, uh, go below 0. Because going below 1 is basically 0, and Zack can go to 0, it just doesn't die for me. Uh, you know what, let's just, just to be sure, let me just check the description for the for the Behemoth. Because that was the one that she managed to go through uh, Zack's first effect. So let's... Uh, yeah, look at it, the fight is, the fight is almost over, it's at 10% and 4%. Again, I, I sped it up because I feel like most people will not have any trouble with this. Uh, oh no, that is the one. Uh, ignores the effect that prevents HP dropping below 1. Yeah, so yeah, that's the one that actually goes through Zack's um, burst effect, which I find is um, pretty strange. What's the point of giving someone an uh, unkillable if you are going to let them be killed, right? Uh, but for the op criteria itself, it's actually pretty simple. Uh, it increases by 3 when you click a debuff and when the target is afflicted with one or more gold debuffs at the end of the turn so that's the reason why I brought the set for call because I know I've been letting it take, take turns because you know Zack you know most of the time when you have a tank um, you can, you're, there's a very good chance you're letting the boss take turns so that's it for, for wave or rather uh, left gate so um, on to right gate again this op is also lethal uh, goes through uh, Zack's burst effect. Uh, not that we really need it because um, the criteria for this op 
condition is is, is pretty it's pretty fine. It basically says that you have to take two consecutive player actions in a row. Uh, summon is excluded, so you can't increase your your, your turns in the summon. I think. I have not tried to take two turns in a row in summon. So yeah, it increases by three, and if you take five turns in a row for that one particular character, yeah, count target takes damage from five consecutive player actions. Oh, it actually doesn't say character. So yeah, five player actions. So yeah, then you increase by ten, and it's kept at twenty. So you know, there's a very good chance you will not have any issues uh, with this uh, off, basically. A, a very straightforward fight, you can bring someone like Lightning, you can bring someone like, like for example, I did um, Tidus. This stage is basically catered towards uh, uh, Terra, you know, the other burst showcase. Or uh, not showcase, but the other burst in the, in the second banner. So basically what they're trying to do is tell you to press the LD button. And to further sell Terra, they also make it a requirement to bring a green crystal character, which is why you see uh, Steiner here. I mean, it's also a really good place to put Steiner. He doesn't do much damage. I'm not giving him an ultimate weapon. I even when he swords a lollipop because I find that's the nicest among all his swords. His swords are really ugly. I don't know why. Uh, at least to me. <laughs> so the op comes out at um, 79%. I'm pretty sure it's the same for the left gate. Uh, I put, I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but yeah. Oh no, sorry. It triggers at the start. Of, uh, it appears at the start of the wave. So only for the last. Uh, sorry for this stage, it comes out at 79 percent. And yeah, just go, just go ham on them. You know. Uh, again, they said player and not um character, unless it's a typo on their side because uh it did the I mean the the uh these sharks. Oh, did go down to a single digit, so yeah, it, it, it could be um, characters instead, so uh, just be careful. Also, they frame their turns uh, when they hit, I believe it was the 79% mark, right? When they hit, the, when they got the frame turns, and they will only just dis disappear after letting their hit turns. So, um, that's something to be careful of. Uh, frame turns, obviously, um, they cannot be delayed or deleted. They also aren't delayed by breaks. Like you see right here, they're not delayed by breaks. So yeah, um, just be a little bit more careful with this fight. Uh, shouldn't have any issue with the AWP. Uh, these shots don't seem to be very aggressive in terms of HP spamming because I don't believe I actually took any HP damage in this fight. And it's not because I didn't let them take a turn, no. Uh, it's because they just did not, nothing. They didn't even touch my HP, they just did some brave shaving. That's all. In fact, the brave shaving was pretty funny as well because it wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't much. And honestly, that's it for the fight. Uh, there's nothing really much for this particular fight. This uh, right here at least. The last stage however is, uh, is a real uh, It's not difficult, it's more of an annoyance because there's a certain count right? And it's 110. And you might be thinking actually 110, that's not too difficult right? But you have to understand that 110 includes uh, fighting the boss 3 times. Uh, and um, it gradually gets easier. Uh, in the sense that um, when you first fight him, when you first start the fight, he is at his hardest, he is at his strongest. And after you kill him once, he will actually regenerate. I know I'm talking it a, a bit early, but uh, you know I decided why not, right? Because um, there's really nothing much to this fight anymore. Look at it, they're hitting once in a Lufinia plus, or rather, this is just a Lufinia, right? just a normal Lufinia. But in a Lufinia fight, they're hitting one. <laughs> How sad is that? Right? Once, just three ones. <laughs> Even if they did a HP damage, um. Uh, Queen is able to heal us up. You know, it's not really an issue. So yeah, uh, honestly, I should just really go ham with um, with Titus. I didn't really need um, to pass his turn at all. You know, considering the fact that they're dying, summon isn't even up, and he has nine more turns on his BT face. So yeah, I should just continue going crazy with him. Coming back to what I was saying, the last fight. So. Uh, after you kill him the first time, he will actually regenerate himself, and then uh, that is when you need to be quite careful because that's when the orb is lethal. Uh, 
in the initial phase, uh, in the first fight, uh, there is no orb. It only triggers when the orb, uh, when you when he regenerates the first time. Uh, right here, uh, I, I I noticed that I didn't put the Alice's call on before I went into the um, <laughs> the BT phase. I only realized it when I was in the BT phase, so it was a bit too late. Uh, yeah, look at that, four percent, four percent. I was like, you know what? Let's summon. Just lower turn count, right? I don't, I have no idea why I did that, but yeah, lower turn count. And once again, I sped up this fight because I believe nobody will have any issue with, with this particular fight. There are so many options for this fight. There are so there are, we have more than enough characters to fulfill the green condition. Uh, I believe I still have. Um, I, I keep blanking on his name. Uh, he, 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 you know the the, the blue mage. Well, I, this is bad, man. I mean, we have Ram. Yeah, that, that's 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 um she's available for sure. Uh, but I, I decided that since I'm bringing Titus, uh, I sh I don't really think I need to bring uh, Ram. Uh, we have struggle. That's who I was trying to say. Struggle to uh, you know constantly keep pushing them back until they frame their turns. Uh, we have Garnet. If you really want to put her in this particular fight, which I really don't recommend unless you're trying to bring her for this last stage then yeah i understand why and then we have other C, um, characters that haven't gotten their scene right. but still quite viable i still have my card up so. so yeah um this fight this i went into this fight um blind to be honest i just read the description that the, the square NS gave and that's it that's that's all i did uh, going into the fight so um the for the orb it doesn't appear like I was saying, it doesn't appear until uh, it hits its first regen. And yeah okay so this fire breath it actually puts a frame speed down on your party members. Uh for most of this fight you don't actually don't want that but towards the end uh, that is actually helpful to, to ending the fight. So um for this fight, this is the start of the fight, this is when the boss is the tankiest. So if you have any um Really offensive BT phase. Uh, sorry, BT. This is when you want to use it. I did not know if um, like the boss will still be as tanky as he was in the first and second uh, regen, uh, which is why you see me holding on to uh, Tidus's uh, BT. Uh, but if I know what I know now, then I will just straight away burst with Tidus just to get him to the first uh, regen as fast as possible. Because uh, you are racing against the turn count, to be honest. Right now, you're seeing that. Um, well, you can't really tell right now because of how tanky the boss is and how little turns have been taken. And also, we haven't gone into the BT phase. Now, what I can say is that I finished this fight in about 50 plus turns. Again, uh, I have about 60 more turns. You know, if I if I really being a caution or you know, if you really want to play safely, I have that 60 turns buffer. But um, the reason why I say uh, it took so long is because I preach sure I actually completed the boss fight at about 30 turns. But there is an additional requirement of letting the boss take 10 turns after it takes its second regen. So after it regenerates itself, revive itself, we have to let it take 10 turns. Basically, let the orb go down to zero. And uh, you know, with Tyler's in the team, he's constantly speeding up and. Uh, a Zack also has some uh, high turn rate skills, so that's two things you want, you might want to try and avoid. But yeah, so that's the reason why it went until uh, 50 plus turns. Again, I should have burst way earlier for Titus. Um, Zack's burst, I feel like I should have timed it a little bit later. And that's the re and the reason why is... Um, I mean, honestly, it did not matter in the grand scheme of things, but um, when I was doing the fight, I was very worried that the boss might just kill one of my other characters and I have to restart the fight. Basically, cause his XBT effect right now. So yeah, um, you might just want to time it better, such that uh, if you're bringing a tank and it's Zack, you know, and you want his BT effect to be up, then you might want to time it a little bit uh, closer towards the second region, because um, the BT effect fell off and the boss had to take really close two to three more turns. So yeah, um, this boss doesn't hit hard in the. In, in the sense of our HP. Again, I have Zack, so I can't really tell how much damage that the boss is actually doing. It could be a lot, it's just that it's being severely reduced. 
Uh, it also um, buffs itself with silver frame turns. And uh, you might consider just putting all your debuffs on him right now. Because again, I went in blind, so I have no idea whether um, it's like the, the bird thing where it, when he revives, the debuffs are gone. You know, so that's the reason why you see me holding on to my, to my debuff calls. If I had known that, then I would have just placed them way, way earlier. Because um, the orb does not tick down when you take a turn. It only ticks down when the boss takes a turn. So, yeah, you don't have to worry about uh, you know, calls using up uh, more of the orb turn. It, it will not uh, will not go down from there. So, um... It also puts up a blue aura on itself. I'm pretty sure we'll be seeing it pretty soon. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's um, HP gated in the sense that when it drops below a certain HP, then uh, it will trigger. And it happens for all uh, three phases uh, before the first regen, first regen, and second regen. And yeah, here we go. I, I finally realized, you know, it's taking too long to kill this uh, first phase. I decided to go into the boss. Uh, I decided to go into. Uh, Titus beating and um, another reason why I didn't want to um, to go into the phase is because I initially thought that that, that letting the boss take 10 turns was uh, throughout the entire fight and not just the second phase so you know he, me letting it, me, me letting him take turns here is because I initially thought that, you know what since I have to take, let him take 10 turns anyway, why not make it when there's no off? But no, uh, it's only for the second phase. Oh, uh, sorry, yeah, the second regen. It does not count towards. Uh, it does not count if you let him take it earlier. So, I. Okay, maybe I could be wrong because um, the aura came up after he did that uh, bio breath. But the, the strangest thing happened, and look at that. You see him constantly getting broken, right? And it's pretty strange because I uh, look at his look at his max brave right now. It is insane. <laughs> So, um, I'm not exactly sure why because uh, it only happens when Zack used uh, Rush Assault. Not sure if it's a glitch, not sure if it, if it was an uh, intended effect. And it also has regen on itself. But uh, it did not happen when Laguna or Tidus um, hit him, so to speak. So, yeah. And I'm pretty sure uh, Zack's Rush Assault is the same as Tidus, where it is both a melee attack. So, I'm not sure why um, for some moves he actually ga gains brave and for, for the rest he doesn't. All I know is to get rid of the aura you just need to constantly be breaking him. Simple as that. Now I'm not sure if you're supposed to break him constantly like when he comes out of, of break you, you break him again comes out of break break him again or you know all you have to do is just break him X amount of times because again this was not stated inside. But yeah, just be careful. Uh, I know that, that um, 80 something K health is definitely not able to take down all three party members if it's um, spread out. But yeah, uh, you know, just 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 be a little bit more careful. With that. Especially if you're bringing someone that doesn't have last tank. If you're, bring, if you're not bringing a tank at all, you know, it is possible to do this um, without a tank. In fact, um, it might be actually be better because uh, then you can get to the last phase faster. But then, uh, you'll be taking more HP attacks, so I'm not sure whether you can leave it out, that's all. Uh, I know it said something about uh, 5 times or something like that. Uh, not exactly sure what happened because honestly, it did not. Um, the effect did not kick in at all. Uh, that 5 times could be referring to the 5, the op, op uh, countdown. Because if it goes down to zero, then your you'll just wipe your party members. Your party members will just die. Because uh, it goes through last time, it goes through everything, including Zack's burst effect. So make sure that the boss does not go to uh, op count op count zero for this particular uh, region. Uh, uh, we call it first region. So yeah, uh, he is able to be broken by by breaking him. He is able to get deleted. Just uh, make sure that you don't delete him too far because. Uh, his second regen will just carry on from where he currently is. So you want him to take turns in the second regen. So you know you don't want him to be taking, you don't want him to be get uh, pushed too far back. So um, for for Zach, he's just doing his usual uh, setup before uh, going into the BT sequence. Uh, I like to go into uh, apocalypse and then into uh, I believe that's what it's called, right? Meteor shot, sorry. Uh, that is one turn less of um, 
the BT effect in the BT phase. But uh, for the last few hits, I feel like he doesn't really need it. So yeah, that's the reason why I did that. <laughs> Look at Zack doing all the numbers, man. Uh, I feel like he's doing a lot more than Titus right here. Again, um, Titus kind of dropped off already because look at that. He's only doing one HP dump. And his shot is doing two. <laughs> Wait, is it two? No, I believe it's two one. But uh, anyway, it, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I've blocked him in here. Uh, I might consider replacing him with lightning. But uh, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, I'm not exactly sure right, right here. So right here, I was actually checking uh, the number of turns because oh right, if you notice, I had I already taken 32 turns, so I was telling myself, you know what, this might actually be a factor because I'm only at the first phase, and there's still a second uh, gen phase. So, and I and since I know roughly how it works right now, uh, I was worried that I might not hit the turn count. So yeah, that was what I was worried about. Yeah, but I was checking. The uh, so I believe right here, yes, I go into Alice's call and then go into Zack's burst phase. Again, like I was saying, um, you might want to actually lay your... Um, you using Zack or whoever your tank is, you know, make sure that there is still enough such that they are able to tank out the last few uh, HP dumps at the end of the fight. Because whenever you see uh, an all attack, uh, is uh, I believe it's fire breath. Uh, if the if the um, recast ability is not full, if the recast ability is full, then obviously it's the bio breath. But yeah. So if it's if it's this one, if it's this all sign, then it is the fire breath with the uh, frame slow uh, defense down. Oh, uh, sorry, speed down. So in fact, you can actually time it just nice such that it applies the speed down in the second, uh, yeah, right here in the in the second phase, second region. See, uh, it actually tells you that you cannot defeat it unless it takes ten turns. So right here is um is the reason why uh I was like with exact BT effects only up for uh, eight turns, right? Or set, uh, yeah, eight turns. And he has to take 10 turns, so Zack has to be slower than the boss. <laughs> I was uh, hoping that the last hit was not going to be a lot. Um, and he wasn't. Honestly, he wasn't. It's just that it could be because of Zack. Okay. So, not a big deal in this in this fight. Uh, I sped up the end of the fight when the boss was constantly at 1%. Because it, I had already effectively defeated the boss, he was just letting the boss take turns. And um, I didn't have to worry about health because Zack is able to heal the party. I didn't worry. I di again, I didn't need to worry about health because I had um, Alexander uh, summon ready. I chose I chose Alexander because um I honestly did not know which other summon to bring. <laughs> oh, he did not do a HP attack. Uh, that's interesting. So uh, anyway, yeah, that's that's the attack yeah, yeah, you want it to do on you so that it actually slows your party member down. And you don't have to worry about breaking him because uh, he cannot be delayed by uh, by bricks. I'm pretty sure you still can delete him, but I have no idea why you want to do that in this particular phase at least. Because look at it, look at his health. He's actually <laughs> this is his this is him being a paper right now. <laughs> it's just that he has some um, some weird unkillable mechanic right there. Also, I, can, I was not able to put this debuff on him, um, the friend debuff, because he had already had um eight full slots. So yeah, it's kind of now with the follow up. I remember a time when it was only uh, Noctis that could do follow up, and that was what made him so special. And uh, but nowadays it's like everybody has a follow up. Uh, Zack has a follow up with his chain slash. Titus has a follow up with his overhead. Laguna has a overhead. I mean, has a follow up with, uh, with a diva effect. You know, it's like everybody has a has a has a follow up nowadays. So I, I am just wondering how Square Enix is gonna make you know, this special again in sense because even his uh, BT effect dropped off long ago. It did. It doesn't have any um, HP damage up or HP damage cap up. You know something like that. It's quite sad. That attack does not do much. 
Uh, you only need to worry if he has a very high max brave, you know, in the blue aura thing. But that attack doesn't do much. It's a one brave attack into a single HP dump. So yeah, uh, most tanks should be able to fight, survive that. Any character should be able to survive that, to be honest. Yes. Unless you are playing so bad such that the boss is not broken when he does that, then yeah. I mean, then it's kind of your fault you hit it at point of time. <laughs> so um, yeah, I used that, I used um, Rush Assault even though I really, I didn't really need to. Uh, honestly, at this point of the fight, I could just uh, HP plus all the way. Because the boss health is so low to the point where it doesn't matter what I do, uh, he'll die before, or he'll reach that one percent before he takes, uh, before he gets his ten turns. Uh, right now there's still seven more turns, six after this. So yeah, it's still a it's still a pretty long way to go. And look at the turn count; it's already at forty-four. And right now, health of the boss is not an issue. It's more of letting the boss in. because um, for some reason they are so evenly spaced that. Um, if you look at the turn order, turn, turn order at least, if it's three of my characters turns to one of the boss turns. So, effectively, you need to have um, 30 plus turns leeway. So, yeah. Make sure that uh, you're not at like 80 turns when you hit here. I don't know why you'd be at 80 turns unless you you're bring someone that doesn't have a. You bring a three, three members that doesn't have BT. But again, there are so many other options that, that doesn't require you to have BT to do you know, a lot of damage. But like Selfie are able to do so much damage right now. Right? She is boosted for this event, it's just that um She's not she doesn't fit any of the crystal requirement, which is why I didn't bring her. She's a really strong support. Right so yeah, that is the ability, the bio breath thing. And yeah, so it's not uh, HP gated, it is um whenever he does his bio breath thing. So yeah, this is this is the phase or rather this is the uh, what I was trying to warn you about. If you notice that uh, he's he's brave, sometimes it is um, it is uh, like 80, 20 plus k, eighty plus k. So if you're not bringing a tank, this this is the phase you have to be very careful with because he cannot be broken, or rather he cannot be delayed by break by breaking him. And if you notice at the end of this rush rush assault, yeah, there we go, hundred and five k. Characters shouldn't have a problem breaking him. It is more of yeah, if he does a HP attack after that. That was an HP attack, but it wouldn't have mattered because of Zack's BT effect and Zack being able to heal up, so yeah. I fast saw this part, like I was saying, because 1% he's dead. It's just that I just needed him to take turns. 3 more turns after this. Sorry, 2 more turns after this. There we go. Speed up! Oh, amazing. I want him to be faster. Please be faster. Why is he so slow? <laughs> but right now, um, he is uh, two, 2 turns. Two of my character turns to one of his turns, but again, uh, just you know, have a little leeway. Take it as the you you need, you need about thirty turns for him to finally be able to uh, to die, basically. Uh, honestly, I have no idea why I'm delaying the video any longer with a friend's call because one percent. I'm pretty sure he's like one HP, so any form of attack will kill him off. I, 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 really, I really have no idea why I'm doing this. <laughs> But yeah, uh, if you reach this 1%, I suggest you should just do your HP attack. It really doesn't matter what you do at this point of time. Again, I have no idea why I extended his buffs. I have no idea why I'm delaying the video. I, I, I have no idea. There's no excuse for that. <laughs> so right here, yes, finally, Bio Breath. 1.7k each. That is ridiculously low damage. And because of the overheal, Tidus and Laguna doesn't require any heal. Only Zack requires healing. And we go into the summon just so that everybody's at full health. Simple. So guys, I've been talking for 30 minutes. Pretty sure you're so sick of my voice. So um, <laughs> I'm just gonna end it right here. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one.